Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your daily love reading for May 18th, 2021. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. You can also follow me on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. All right, and your reading here, this is a love reading and it's for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Please do hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings and my channel. I would be very grateful. Okay, Virgo. Let's take a look and see what the energies are here for you. Okay, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Death card. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Wow, Virgo. Justice. Page of Wands, center of the reading, and the Knight of Pentacles. You also have the Hermit. Page of Swords, and the Six of Wands. All right. So the center of the reading is a page of wands. So there is communication. I feel it's going to be happening. Um, very light communication with somebody. Um, I will tell you, we have Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio so far for the major arcanas, okay? For those of you who are on a need-to-know basis, but that doesn't mean that it's not your person, okay? Um, the Page of Wands energy, this is kind of like a crush. This is someone who's smitten. Um, this could be like uh, someone who's very active, youthful, active. This could be Aries. Um, but there's some type of communication, a text message, a phone call coming in. Um, about uh, someone who has like travel plans or ideas or is seeking inspiration or this person comes in and is very inspiring okay so it's just something that you may receive a message or a phone call from someone um, uh, it feels like like um, uh, like ideas you know, communication about some kind of idea, like somebody has, they have an idea about something. <clears throat> but at the top of the reading here, the Five of Pentacles, Death and the Ten of Swords, somebody here, <coughs> excuse me, is feeling left out, is feeling betrayed, is feeling as if something is over. Okay, you can reverse this. This could be you or the person you're connecting with. But I also feel like somebody doesn't want to feel left out in the cold anymore, okay? There's a transitioning happening and surrender. A sense of like hitting rock bottom and feeling defeated. Okay, let's get some clarifying cards. I also feel like there's some truth coming out from somebody. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sorry. I have a lot of pollen here and it's just been wreaking havoc <clears throat> on me. So the, the communication is coming in. It's backed by truth. And with the Knight of Pentacles, there's some type of solid, bona fide offer coming in from somebody here. This person, there's a little bit of spying going on. Um, I don't know if you've kind of been out of the loop or just disappear. You're just not really communicating too much. Or you and this person, um, maybe it's them who hasn't been communicating, but they've been watching you. Virgo. Um, and I feel like this person, um, you know, two pages, there's a lot of back and forth communication um, and a lot of truth. I feel like your person has been reflecting, trying to gain clarity. And they want to tell you about the things that they've come up with about your relationship or your connection. They want to try to find a way to balance things out. And the six of wands here, this person wants victory with you. They want the, they see you as someone who might be in a position of recognition. And this is a card of praise. Maybe you both are, maybe just one of you are, uh, one of you is, but there's a desire here to, um, 
either this person wants to be recognized by you they want to be seen and applauded or pra uh, praised or they want they're, they're in that position though i want to share that with you but let let me get some clarifying cards here virgo i want to take a look at the five of pentacles why this person had this left out in the dark energy oh the shadow this person that's the devil okay left out out in the cold with their addictions and their problems um, that devil energy struggle major struggle this person may have had like a, some type of problem with an addiction and addiction can mean anything it could just be negative thinking it could be addicted to depression or playing the victim or it could be drugs alcohol food gambling all that kind of stuff um, this person may have lost money because the five of pentacles does represent having a um, financial burden or a struggle here or financial loss depression illness worry could be the result of that devil card greed envy materialism obsession sexual lust okay um and it looks like there's change happening here the death card represents transformation big changes some endings i feel like this person is moving on from that energy it's a rebirth happening here um if this per whatever their addiction was whatever the problem was their struggle it's like they're surrendering here with the ten of swords let's take a look at the death card okay three of pentacles here starting over this person three of pentacles can come across as like teamwork or collaboration um skill i feel like this person is either they're going back to school they're learning a new skill could just be like learning how to live without addiction or these these this dark energy I feel like this person is being forced. They're hitting rock bottom. Um, rebuilding their finances, rebuilding, relearning things here because it goes from the five of pentacles to the three of pentacles. They've got, they lost a lot, not just themselves, but maybe a home or money or couldn't pay back loans and got in a really bad situation whatever it might be and they're going back to the drawing board board with the three of pentacles and starting their life their life over they've lost a real lot so the ten of swords here that's defeat um complete and painful ending here and we have the hanged man right but finding a way out, gaining a new perspective, seeing things differently this time. Some of them are coming to the Lord, <laughs> coming to spirit, you know, becoming more spiritual with the hangman. That crow sitting here, you know, the crow is always a sign, you know, death is imminent. They have to have a wake up call and I feel like this person is gaining some some wisdom here okay they're in a position that they see that where they are is where they landed and that's where they are but they're viewing things differently about their life and about a relationship perhaps with you um, the reason why they had that poverty mindset or that struggle is because of that devil energy that those urges um, these obsessions and compulsions okay so here's justice truth is coming out here you're going to get some communication from this person a win-win solution this could be like um if they owed you money, paying you back, working towards paying you back, okay, legally. They may tell you that um, 
Yeah, and uh, that's what I was feeling here. They've they've found a way to pay you back. For some of you, it's a very strong message. They they communicate. They reach out to you. They want to come see you. They want to give you what's owed to you if they stole from you in their mess and their addiction of something. This feels like, um, you know, making amends and paying back what's owed. Um, they have these ideas. It's going to take them a little while. Um, they may need, maybe they're going back to school or they're getting a new job. <laughs> you know, um, it's for some of you, it's ordered by, you know, the, a judge or a legal system. And for others, if they don't owe you money, there's just this element of, um, it feels like um, they want to come in and make things right with you. Maybe offer a gift. Um, asking you like creative communication. What do you like? What do you like to eat? Uh, you want to go to dinner? Or do you want to... Um, what kind of jewelry do you like? I just, I'm feeling like monetary gift or something of value, whether it's court ordered <laughs> or it's just them. Facing the truth. Let's get a clarifying card here for justice. Yeah, five of cups. There's a lot of remorse and grief. They want to make things right with something right with you. Okay. This person doesn't want you to leave them. They feel unloved, but it's by their own doing. Um, I don't feel like you weren't loving this person. I feel like they, they're, they're either concerned that you're going to leave them, or they don't want to have that happen, and they want to, they don't want to be in a state of grief. Right now, they do feel that way. And they're, I feel like they're hitting rock bottom and trying to see things differently and have their life and bring you back into the fray and try to make, you know, do the right thing, do right by you. They've lost a lot. Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Let's take a look at the Page of Wands here. Okay, the moon. Yeah. These are voluntary changes. This person, for some, even though, for some of you, even though it may be a legal thing, um, them reaching out to you to tell you what's going on, like they don't have to, um, they could just have it like mailed to you or sent to you money or something. Um, but them reaching out to you, they want to reveal some things to you that they're not only do they have to do this, but this is how they're going to do it. And they want, they're coming in to tell you they want to, um, they want to give back. Okay. They want to help. And for others, this is them realizing that they feel lost without you and they don't want to be sad or in grief. And they're, they're coming in like, with this voluntary information revealing things to you without you having to ask you know because the moon can be um, a card of deception or lies unseen problems okay um, this person they're willing to open up and give you some clarity. They can't just, you know, it's a very slow energy. They're willing to take baby steps, but they're hesitant. Yet, I feel like they want to tell you how they want to communicate with you and what things they want to do to make changes. Um, but there's a hesitancy. So they'll reveal just a little, not too much. Okay, this is Piscean energy. Twice here. They'll reveal a little not to, not all at once and the knight of pentacles is slow going energy slow moving so what can you tell us spirit about the knight of pentacles okay they're giving us two cards here so the knight of swords and the eight of pentacles this person what's behind what they're giving 
and what they want to offer to you is attached to them working really hard to make some kind of a lifestyle change for you and them. And that could be relocating or moving um, or talking about it or giving you money or gifts, maybe something down payment on a home, travel. We have two nights here. And that Eight of Pentacles energy, you know, they want to repair and fix something. Um, they were out of focus. Are they just, maybe they had perfectionist things about them and they could never get anything done or they stalled because they spent too much time focusing on the details, okay? Um, and now they're actually promoting and um, in this position of making things happen right taking on that rote activity one at a time one step at a time but being consistent because the eight of pentacles represents that consistency okay this person they may have been at times deliberately cruel in the past perhaps for some even a bit violent but i feel like here um very fast talking but slow in physical movement which is fine because i feel like they want to take it step by step to rebuild trust here to rebuild the consistency of this relationship because there's a lack of trust because they were not doing that this person is kind of like they don't really know how to be in a relationship and they're they're somewhat learning how to do right by you i don't know if they have spiritual mentorship <clears throat> they're being schooled you know definitely maybe going to some kind of like counseling or life coach or getting some help so the hermit is here why is the hermit here and as I was saying, you know, there was this spiritual reflection um, going in within for clarity, personal truth. Okay, the Four of Pentacles. Wow. This person had jealousy issues. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Bankruptcy. Poverty mindset, like I said. Being too open with things um in a sense of like i feel like carelessly giving away things that didn't belong to them maybe your things and they're learning now how to let go in the sense of like they might have been possessive and they're kind of like going within to learn how to open up to you. Let me get another card here for the four of pentacles reverse. Okay, yeah, the sun reversed. <clears throat> the sun is a good card, even if it's in the reverse. Um, but the one thing that this person did was they may have delayed gratification. Um, or you just felt like you were waiting and they made you wait all the time for something and maybe they still do. But I feel like they are, um, there might have been some temporary depression or mood disorder, but I feel like this they're going, um, taking that time out or they've been taking the time out to see how they were not as positive towards you and the relationship as they could have been. Not um, bringing, you know, um, like success and joy into um you know your connection that's leo energy there they weren't they were looking too is how they were not focusing on having long-term security with you i don't really feel like they could because they had this devil energy they just couldn't compete with that. They they had to satisfy those urges. <clears throat> so the Page of Swords is here. Let's see what's going on with the Page of Swords. Okay, the Page of Cups, the truth. 
the truth is, Virgo, that this person loves you and they want to do right by you. That's the communication that they give to you. They're signing up whatever you want them to do. There's a lot of page energy here. There's a lot of communication coming here. Now, it may not be on this exact day. It could be flowing out throughout the rest of the week. But two pages on top of each other. This person comes with truth. And maturity. They don't want to break up. They don't want to be away from you. They don't want to be super dependent on you. They want to try to be more independent of themselves. Okay. Um, they will tell you that maybe they have some leak that, you know, there's legal or tax issues. Um, but they don't want to be the one who brings bad news anymore or brings you down or makes you feel like they can't be depended upon. They want to show you. It, whether you guys are together or not right now, there's a change. A definite change. Surrender. Big time. So the Six of Wands is here. And that's victory. This is being confident. Recognition, good news, and success. And the Fool. <laughs> Reversed. <clears throat> Excuse me. No more of that carelessness or apathy. No more absence. There's fresh hope. This person's turning things around. They want to be able to come towards you and have a new start, create a new path. This is considering the consequences now. Whereas before, they might have been the full upright where they just took chances and they didn't care who got hurt or if they got hurt or whatever. In reverse, this is like a cautious risk. This person still willing to take the risk, but this time they're actually thinking, oh, I don't want negative outcome or negative consequences. I want positive consequences. I want to be the victor in Virgo's heart. Because I was a fool, like a bad fool. <laughs> it's one thing to take a risk knowing what the consequences could or might not be, right? That's being responsible. Oh, well, the fool upright just jumps in and doesn't think that if he jumps off that cliff, he could get hurt. And that's what your person was, or that everyone around him would be sad. So now they're looking at that and saying, hmm... Maybe I should be careful where I step or what I say. This might hurt Virgo. And so they're, it, it's like, I feel like this person is actually like taking it seriously. They're still a risk taker. I mean, this person has that adventuresome spirit, but they still have that um, risk taking thing. Although now it's like, well, I can't live my life like that anymore. So the Five of Swords is here to clarify in the reverse. Um, this is peace after trouble. This person got caught. Whatever they did, whatever made them get it together, they got caught. And that is what force is forcing them to get it together. Okay, because five represents a manageability. Five represents change and uncertainty. Five also represents realignment and, and uh, can represent inconsistency. And we saw this person was not being there for you, Virgo. They were being very inconsistent, in and out behavior. And there's a lot of trust that needs to be built as well. Okay, and I feel like this person is coming in to try to repair, make amends. 
not because you're requiring it or not because you're not talking to them, but because they on their own have hit rock bottom. And they're all alone. So let's get a couple of um, angel wisdom cards. Actually, I'm going to pull angel answers. So I want you to think of a question, Virgo. It's something that you want to know. And I'll pull a card here to see what the angels have to say. A few cards. Okay. Not the right time. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what your question was, but I will read it for you and, and see what exactly. This is not the right time presently for what you're inquiring about. This answer is not a no, just a not yet. Have patience. Your angels will give you a sign when the timing is perfect. Okay. Let's get another card and see what another question would be for you. <clears throat> okay. For some of you, it's you're ready. You may be ready, but it may not be the right time yet. All your past experiences have led to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's get another card here. Virgo. Ask another question. You don't have to ask questions. We'll just give you the messages. Okay, we have a whole bunch, so we're going to take this. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me, big fat no. <clears throat> And I'm going to read this to you. And that's with an exclamation mark. The response to your inquiry is a firm no. You needn't worry, though, as you will see why this was the perfect answer as time goes by. Okay, I'm not really sure. Um, I, these might be different answers to different questions. <clears throat> I feel like right now, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, it is not the right time for something, okay? You may feel like you're ready, but wait for the angels to tell you when. You'll know when it's time to go. And the no, I feel like they're being very strong about that. It's not no is forever. It just feels like no, not right now. Okay. I'm going to pull one more card here. I do want to do the angel wisdom they're saying. One more card from the Angel Wisdom deck. All right, they're giving you two. Wow, three of pentacles again. Do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and an excellent reputation. And you also have insights that come from meditation the need to rest or take a vacation allow yourself more time before making a decision there may be mental exhaustion you're being asked to get some sleep all right virgo very interesting reading i hope that that was enjoyable to you please do remember to hit the like and subscribe button um, that would help me get my channel up Please share so people can watch this video um, with your friends or your other Virgo friends. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below. Um, so yeah, you can also follow me on Instagram, House of Virgo. The link should be in the description box also. All right, Virgo, I will see you on the 19th and the rest of the week. All right, take care. Bye.